Hey y'all, so this is Joel Osteen's Instagram, and I wanted to read, um, he's got a whole bunch of posts, but I wanted to read one specifically, because he has a bunch of them with beginning, I declare, and I wanted to read it to y'all, I declare, God is working all things together for my good, he has a master plan for my life, there may be things I don't understand right now, but I'm not worried, I know all pieces aren't here yet, one day it will all all come together and everything will make sense. I will see God's amazing plan taking me places I never dreamed of. This is my declaration. Y'all know y'all know what this is. I declare and decree this is unbiblical. Hey y'all, this is Christian Storm with Would You Run and Times Bible Channel. I am doing something a little different. I wanted to go to, you know, like I said, the Instagrams of some popular preachers, see what they had to say on there. And I hit the jackpot with some of this false teaching going on. I wanted to share it with you. This is Steve Furtick of Elevation Church. He's got on the middle row um or excuse me the second row in the middle it says the wilderness was not meant for you to live in it was meant for you to pass through a lot of word of faith preachers i noticed a lot of times use that we're in a wilderness in our lives um going through and going into the promised land they kind of twist the scriptures it's pretty rowdy and here is another one and the second to last row, you've got a sign that says muddy situations are the perfect setup for God to perform a miracle. Um, that is promising that God is going to perform some sort of miracle every time you have struggles. Um, that is just classic word of faith stuff. Now we have Catherine Crick, or should I say she's a self-appointed apostle? <laughs> um... We have her Instagram in one of her posts at the top in the middle. It says you become a threat to the enemy once you start taking your God-given authority seriously and truly exercise it over the powers of darkness. Um, that is not scriptural. And what God-given authority is she talking about, I'd like to know. And we also have another, this row down, the third row down on the far right. It says, so many are missing out on abundant life and aren't seeing prayers answered simply because they do not have the fear of the Lord. So basically it's our fault if uh, a prayer that you are asking the Lord to um, answer it's on you okay and then she says god sees the heart and he rewards the, those whose hearts are after his the pure in heart shall see god and shall see his favor and abundant blessings um nowhere in scripture is this anything biblical um except that the pure in heart shall see god i believe that is a part of a bible verse and i think she got it right ding 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 the rest of it is completely word of faith it puts everything upon you that is your fault for god not moving that is a load of baloney salami if i ever heard it guys Then I recently saw a post from Joanna Beck Ministries, and this just threw me for a loop. Your anointing attracts your adversaries. Okay, Bible verse please, because there isn't one. Keep your gift of discernment sharp. Pray and pay attention, she says below. Look at how many people are liking this post. And I bet you not one of them is asking where the Bible verse is of the stuff that she is saying. Unbelievable. 
And then, last but not least, certainly not least, is Kenneth Copeland, his Instagram. Um, where do I start? Though it's a marvelous thing to get healed, but it's even better to live in divine health. See, a lot of these Word of Faith people, they push being healed. And if you're not healed, it's your fault. And they believe in living in divine health. But the funny thing is, is when any of them get sick, well, I thought you said we're supposed to be in divine health. Plus, they're the first ones to go to the doctor, like Rod Parsley recently. Um, Rod Parsley actually had a throat cancer. And that goes against everything that he teaches about living um, in divine health as well because he is a prosperity preacher, word of faith preacher. And what did he do? Well, he went to the doctor and got medication. And the medication made him whole, but then he comes back to charge saying that God healed him. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. And guys, uh, in the Greek, prove really just means test. So we're supposed to test everything, all things. Test them. And these are a good way to test them is looking at their memes that they're posting every day, all day long, every week, every month. Test. And y'all, just this morning, this actually one, this one is on Facebook. From Iron Sharpens Iron says, change your vocabulary in the spirit. Don't speak as things are, speak as things should be. Call those things which be not as though they were. And this is a main doctrine. Call those things as though they were. It's a word of faith doctrine and it's against scripture because of this. Romans 4.17 As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him who he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Guys, in this scripture, it refutes exactly what they say. Call those things as though they, you know, that are dead as though they were not. Call them which are not as though they are. It says God does these things, not us, but word of faith people twist this scripture and only pull out little snippets and then apply us. We can't do that. We can't do these things, guys. Not at all. Y'all, thanks so much for sticking with me on this different video. Be sure to check out those memes before you actually click the, you know, forward or share button or retweet button. Make sure that you are understanding what you're reading and that it isn't heretical because these teachers post them everywhere. They've got millions upon millions of followers and pretty soon suddenly you hit a button and you go, oops. And at least you could take that button back, which is really good. But God bless, like, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.